you know, when people come with MRIs or x-rays that have bone spurs, and it could be a bone spur in the lower back or in the knee, uh, the bone spurs are there to actually stabilize an unstable area. I mean, maybe a good example is when, if, if anyone has a wood cabinet door and the doors start hitting, where the doors start hitting in the human body where two bones are hitting, that's gonna cause an inflammatory reaction. So if this keeps occurring over time, in other words, if two bones are hitting right here, then the body knows that there's excessive motion because bones are aligned within one to two millimeters of each other. So in other words, for a bone to start hitting another bone and rubbing on each other, that means that one bone subluxed. Why? Because the connector of the bones is loose and those are the ligaments. So when you get ligament laxity, the bone subluxes, then the bones start hitting and where they, there's an inflammatory reaction, that's eventually gonna cause a bone spur. Now it's interesting over time, if you stop the reason why the bone spurs formed by doing prolotherapy or getting receiving prolotherapy on a joint and now the joint is stable, there's now no longer any reason for the bone spur to occur. The body can over time reabsorb that bone spur. So that absolutely can happen over time. Or sometimes in the office, what we do is we do needle spirectomy where we numb, where the bone spur is, we numb it. And then we take a needle and literally under ultrasound guidance, we just start chipping away at it much like an ice pick would chip away at, uh, at ice. You know, you can, you can decrease the bone spur enough where it doesn't cause any pain. But again, most of the pain that people have with joint problems comes from the ligaments. So do, treating the ligaments with prolotherapy not only gets rid of the pain, but it also stops the reason that the bone spur is formed in the first place. I'd say about once every few years, we actually do have to have somebody go get arthroscopic surgery for loose bodies in the joint. And most people don't realize loose bodies are actually pieces of cartilage that flaked off or pieces of cartilage plus bone. So when a piece of cartilage flakes off, that leaves an osteochondral defect. It means that there basically is a place where there's not cartilage and or there's not the underlying bone. So those would be situations where a person might consider getting a stem cell procedure but I wouldn't just do the stem cell procedure. You should also receive prolotherapy, which would stop the destructive joint motion that led to the articular cartilage cracks. And what most people have to realize though, is most loose bodies in a joint cause absolutely no problem. And what happens is over time, the body will start smashing up on its own. It'll smash up those bone spurs, also the bone spurs can dissolve in the joint fluid. You know, the joint fluid itself can dissolve the loose body. So unless the loose body is continually getting caught, you know, where a person, the joint sticks uh, and the person has to shake off the joint, there's no reason to have arthroscopic surgery. I would really encourage, get an evaluation by experienced prolotherapy, a clinic like Caring Medical in Oak Parker, of Fort Myers, Florida, and normally prolotherapy can resolve the pain that you're having.